Another oh, stellar appearance. Yeah. All right, Steve, go ahead. Also today, just asking, was Fred Norris at the IKEA in Hicksville, Long Island, on Sunday about 2 p.m.? Yes, I was. Was there an incident in the parking lot yes, with a couple was. of other shoppers? Uh -huh. What? Yes, there was. Did Fred go thermonuclear trying to get a woman to move her car? That's not true. Uh, you just went nuclear, us. not thermal. I'll tell you what happened. This car was sitting in front of me for at least 10 minutes, and I was looking for my wife to come out of the store. Now, she's on a cane, and she has a cast on her foot. A cane? Uh, what'd yeah. you do? What I happened? didn't do anything to her. <laughs> what she happened? hurt her foot. Okay. Still not listening? Right. How did she hurt her foot? <laughs> it was the funniest thing. She was jumping into the pool, and she pulled a muscle. Oh, oh my goodness. The G-Strock muscle or some shit like that. All right. Anyway, so I was parked in an area that was close to... Like the entrance, but far enough away that I could like get there closely. So I'm in the car with my daughter and a dog, and we're sitting there, and I'm waiting for her to come out. This big suburban or whatever the fuck it was was sitting in front of the car. Ten minutes it was sitting there. I don't know why, but I said, okay, at some point this person has to move. My wife comes out of the store. I see her. I beep the horn. Wait about 30 seconds. Car does not move. Beep the horn again. Car doesn't move. This time, I lean on the horn really hard. Car still doesn't move. Hmm. <laughs> and my wife is walking across the parking lot. I get out of the car. Some bald-headed guy from across the way goes like, Hey, you know, Sheena, cut it out, man. You know, there's no need to get all bent out of shape. And I go, this car has been sitting in front of me for five minutes. It's like, why doesn't she move? And I still don't know why they weren't moving. They finally did move after I got out of the car and said, will you please move your car? Because you wanted to pick up your wife. Because I wanted to pick up my wife. Steve, is that accurate? Well, here's what uh, an eyewitness, perhaps one of the participants in this. I'm sure, told I'm us. sure they have their own version. He, of the story. Fred, was making a scene. He was this That's maniac right. honking his horn. He, he was, was leaning on it like a road rage person. He oh. was being so obnoxious. People are turning around looking. What is this guy doing? Pounding on the horn and holding it down. Oh, wow. because not guy, true. Well, why wouldn't the guy move? He wasn't I don't know. able to. He was trying to. Uh, that is nonsense, Steve. Steve, his Steve, it's third Steve, car. Here, Steve, here's the way he describes. Steve, can I? Can I? Please. You're you're making these accusations, no, and I'm I think I've addressed that. Like yeah, but so who's telling the truth here? Him or me? Journalism is asking questions of everyone. Steve, you're full of shit. You know I'm telling the truth. That's not true. Now you're just Please. trying to make it. You're just trying to make it. Not so at that, all. You know, not at all. Oh, stop, Steve. Stop. You're being a bullshit artist right now. No, I'm not. I'm asking you what happened. What I is told you what that? happened, and that's exactly what happened. So why are you taking the other person's side? I'm and not telling mine? you what he said. And I'm telling you what happened. Okay. So you continue with your uh, your dialogue that is basically See, Fred, biased. Trying to Fred, get your what answer. you're missing is he's not hmm. taking a side. He's well, it sounds you, like he is. He's but... telling you the opposing viewpoint and okay. letting you respond. Fair enough. That's all. No one ha has a recording yeah. of the way Fred no. was. Now, Fred, you see Now, did this person Fred, also Fred, say that, this, seen... that, that they noticed that that person wasn't moving their car? Right, but this person says that it was a much shorter time That's period not true. than you described. That is so not true. Fred, you seem to believe Steve in the booger eating incident. But, <laughs> that uh, one is true, but right. I was involved in this one. All right. And what you, you know, what is not fair here is this source of mm. yours, how could he have been watching the whole incident the entire time? How long does he know Fred was waiting there? He doesn't He know. says he was the... There was... There was by the way, car. why is uh, Fre Fred not affording nicer furniture? Why is uh, all of his furniture from <laughs> Ikea? My wife was going in to order a bed for my daughter. All right, fair enough. And I have nothing to do with that. I even said, let's go to Sleepy's or, or uh, you know, the other one, dial a mattress. Well, of if course, she's on dial a, a mattress. She's on a crutch, why not? You couldn't go in or... You know what? She had, yeah, what, she had you... she, what she had in mind. I was with my daughter in the car, and right. there was no way. Anyways, she knew what she was going for. I thought it was going to be a five-minute thing. She went in there. When she came out of the store, and did this person also notice my wife was on a cane and, and, a, and a boot? Yes. Okay, so that has no effect on anything. This is what the person's okay. reporting. Okay, very good. And I'm telling you what happened. And that's the truth. Stop leaning on that horn, Fred. Oh. Right. oh, so someone can't react when someone doesn't get out of their way. <laughs> they, this source, this person involved, says it sounded but that's, threatening. that's such a lie. Okay. Steve, what else did Fred do wrong last weekend? Because I love this. <laughs> what else you got? It's on such him? a lot. See, that's the thing. Now that we like... can't concentrate on Robin and Jim, let's concentrate yeah, on Fred. There you go. Thank you. Who, yeah. Who, yeah, I was out of control. I opened my car door and I stood by my car door and I pointed, "Would you please move the car?" Is that that's being a maniac? All. Apparently, that's it all. was a little more heated than that, according to this. Person. Uh, because I was trying to shout to a person in a car that had their windows rolled up and their engine moving. 
I mean, their engine like running, and for some reason the horn didn't seem you to make You are a bit of a hothead. Them. I know that about you. You want to know something? I might have been a little hot in that, but what I did was not out of the realm. All right, fair enough. Steve? And I expected that person to call in, and I expected... Fred so, stands there you go. by. He was I stand by my word. This person was being obnoxious, and they were being an asshole. All right, fair That's enough. That's it. Good. All right, there you go.